My mouse pad is absolutely disgusting. No, seriously, look at this thing. You can't see from back there. Get in here. Almost there. Come on down. All right, there you guys are. So move the mouse, move the one-handed keyboard, move the full-size keyboard. And what are you left with? Well, a full-size mouse pad with a really cool Star Wars graphic, but there's a lot of stains on this bad boy. Let me explain them to you. Sometimes if I'm in a tournament, I don't have time to get up and go to the bathroom. And if I don't have my catheter hooked up, on the mouse pad it goes. A little blood right here from trying to snap aim with my mouse and hitting my keyboard. And sometimes after a victory royale, I celebrate and this mouse pad is the victim. All right, JK, JK, but in all seriousness, all this stuff over here is from my vape whenever it would knock over and my tank would start leaking. Uh, this here is a little bit of red paint from one of my custom controller builds. Pictures on screen here. I do do, do do? <laughs> I do the do do. I do custom controller builds on this channel. That's neither here nor there nor in my rear. What I'm gonna be doing today is showing you guys the proper way to clean a mouse pad. I am gonna go over hard mouse pads, so the ones that are almost plasticky, it's a different surface, and a lot of people prefer hard mouse pads. This is more of a very traditional soft canvas cloth one. There are specific ways that you can clean this and specific ways that you do not wanna clean. I'm gonna show you the proper method to wash and dry this bad boy and the chemicals that you can use that are not gonna bleach or stain this bad boy and aren't gonna change the characteristics of the fabric so you still get that nice smooth glide with your mouse. All right, boys, let's get it. Alrighty, boys, we are going to be doing this method in the bathtub. However, if you have one of these large tubs like this, I would recommend going into your guest room and using this smaller tub so that way you don't have to use as much water. Or if you have a small or compact mouse pad, you don't have one of the huge full size, you know, 32 inch ones or whatever, you can actually do this in your sink and save time and water. All right, guys, so first things first, you do not want to throw these bad boys in a washer and definitely not a dryer. If you are going to use that method because you don't believe in the tried and true method that I'm about to show you here and you want to use a washer and dryer, put it on its most gentle or delicate setting, so for silks and fabrics and stuff like that. And then when you do uh, go to throw it in the dryer, which I also don't recommend because this has rubber on the back that can melt, not to mention these edges are very finely stitched, so you know, in a washer where it's getting tossed around and tumbled, it's just gonna fuck it up. So if you wanna use that though, when you put it in the dryer, put it on its lowest temperature setting, but we're not gonna be using either of those methods. So what you wanna do is fill up your bathtub with about eh, two to three inches of water, enough to completely submerge your mat. And you can use Dawn dishwashing soap. That works because it has a powerful degreaser in it. However, this stuff right here doesn't have to be this brand at all, but you want something that is free of perfumes and dyes, so it's not gonna mess with the colors on this sensitive fabric here. Not to mention, this stuff is just a more delicate, less abrasive soap. It has less chemicals and stuff in it. It's a little bit more of a, uh, I guess you could say pure soap. I use this on my microfiber rags for my auto detailing business because those are extremely, well, for one, expensive to replace, but also very finicky with the products that you use on them. So. That's what I use, I'll put a couple of drops of that. So it has a lot of buoyancy naturally, so it wants to float to the top, but as you see, I pushed it down, you cannot see, there we go. It has a lot of buoyancy, it was floating to the top, I used my hand to submerge it, get the water on top of it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drizzle a little bit of the soap. You can drizzle it directly on the pad, however, I prefer to put it on the scrub brush that I'm gonna be using. You do not wanna use a wire brush or any kind of stiff bristle brush, you wanna use a medium to soft bristle brush drip the soap directly on that, and we're gonna scrub out those hard stains. Then we're gonna finish it up with a microfiber cloth, and I'll show you guys how to dry this. So this is our soft bristle brush here. If there are some really stubborn stains that will not get out, this is a medium to stiffer brush. However, it's not metal wire or anything like that. This is still, I believe these are plastic fibers here, and uh, this thing will work pretty goddamn good. I use this to scrub interiors and whatnot on vehicles. So we're gonna start with this brush though, as I think this is gonna do the trick. We're just gonna drizzle a little bit of the soap directly on it. All right, sweet, we got that on the brush. Put this on the floor here. We're gonna go ahead and get to scrubbing this bad boy. You guys get to see me do some manual labor. Hee <laughs> hee, might even work up a sweat. So obviously this section over here had some really nasty little stains. I'm gonna have to roll up my sleeves. I don't wanna mess up my, my Christmas sweater. Once I add a little bit more soap to this bad boy. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and drain this water out of here so I can actually get this mouse pad up against the firm bottom of the, <laughs> everyone loves a firm bottom. Uh, the firm bottom of the tub here, you get a little more strength in my scrub. So it does already look like a whole hell of a lot of those stains are off there. 
But it's not perfect yet. We want this thing looking brand new, fresh off the press. All right, so you want to go both vertically and horizontally back and forth. Perfect, let's go ahead and rinse this bad boy off. All right, so there are three acceptable methods to get this bad boy to dry. You can just sling it over something like the shower curtain here and let it drip dry and then coincidentally air dry. It will take roughly five to six hours depending on the temperature of your house and obviously what material your mouse pad is. Second would be you can take a heat gun or a blow dryer, which I do have both of my house, so I'm probably going to use the hair dryer method for this video and just use a hair dryer on here. And then the third acceptable means, but probably the least ideal, would be to throw it in the dryer uh, with no fabric softener sheets or anything like that at its lowest tumble setting. Uh, or even if they have a setting that's like not even temperature, it's just, you know, blowing air in it and moving it around, kind of like a vent mode. Uh, that will work as well. But you want to be careful because this getting tossed around in there while it's still damp can cause damage to your mouse pad. Now, if you have a hard mouse pad, there are slightly different methods to clean them and I'm gonna get into those right now. So if you do have a hard mouse pad, those are the ones that basically feel like uh, plastic, more or less. I personally greatly dislike the feel of them, not only on my hand, but also just the way the mouse glides on them. But a lot of gamers do prefer them. It's strictly a preference thing. You're not right or wrong for liking a soft or hard mouse pad. But if you do have a hard mouse pad, you do not need to soak it in the water like that. You can actually use some kind of a glass cleaner like this. Make sure it is ammonia and bleach free. Uh, you can also, if you don't have glass cleaner like this, you can use IPA or isopropyl alcohol, basically rubbing alcohol, but you want to get something that's at least 60 to 70% pure alcohol and not watered down. It seems to be more effective. Or third option, you can use an all-purpose cleaner slash degreaser, but something like that's pretty heavy, so you want to make sure you don't leave it soaking on there for long. You just spritz, 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 and then wipe it off, and I do recommend using some kind of a soft microfiber. It's a lot more absorbent and it will take you less passes to actually absorb all that liquid. Um, this is kind of stuff I've learned from being an auto detailer on the side over the years, uh, but it definitely does apply to surfaces like plastics and cloth. So just something to use. Um, I do recommend like just a glass cleaner like this. This is an automotive brand one, but just make sure even if you get Windex or something like that, I wouldn't recommend regular Windex because it does have ammonia uh, in it. So just make sure it's, it's ammonia and bleach free it's basically just some kind of a window cleaning solution or use a citrus based cleaner like some kind of a like some sort of a pine salt or something like that but again that stuff's some serious chemicals so just maybe spray that on directly on the rag and wipe it uh, and don't leave it sitting on there too long because a lot of those cleaners will actually leave little dots that get kind of burned or bleached into fabrics especially blacks so most mouse pads are black so Something to keep in mind. That is how you properly wash and dry a mouse pad. Whether you have a full size, compact, soft, hard, you got a flaccid one or a hard one, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be clean and you guys are gonna be back to gaming without the schmutz all over your mouse pad. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If this was beneficial for you guys, shove that thumb right where the sun don't shine. Go ahead and tally whack that subscribe button. Give a Dutch word to the notification bell because it thinks it's safe over there too. All right guys, peace.